Thank you, Mr Speaker. The National Autistic Society ran a survey of parents and carers last summer. They found a quarter of parents waited over three years to receive support for their child. Urgent reforms are needed for the 160,000 autistic pupils in schools in England to address the issues which have only been exasperated by the pandemic. Can the Minister confirm that upcoming SEND review will include robust proposals to tackle this crisis disabled children and their families are facing? Minister. Well, I, I thank the Honourable Lady for her question. I recognise some of the challenges that she faces and I can absolutely give her that commitment. We prioritise children and young people with SEND and their families in our £4.9 billion education recovery plan. And those with the most complex needs continue to receive high needs funding, which increases to £9.1 billion in the next financial year. And we've allocated £41, uh, £42 million this financial year, Mr Speaker, to fund projects that support children and young people with SEND, including £600,000 to the Autism Education Trust.